of available or what 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 findings informs uh, the decision to bring on board another company maybe you are aware of that but then for us at IES we think that if there's any findings that inform this uh, decision then the finance ministry must make that available to the public immediately that made that was all this uh, you know uh, discussions but I'm sure you uh, have you had the time to go through what the fourth estate found, and if you have, are you convinced that they, that the company is doing anything that's worth the monies they are being paid? Well, uh, like I said, um, the government should come out of any findings um, born out of investigation or analysis. Then that's one that uh, will convince me. Um, because we know that there are many layers of checks uh, to ascertain uh, the quantity of products brought into the system by way of importation, by way of uh, local production, what goes to every terminal, what moves out of a terminal. The National Petroleum Authority, as uh, the regulator of the uh, downstream petroleum sector, and it's close with that responsibility to 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 monitor um, all this activity as a same quality of product or otherwise. Beyond that, we have the steps at every every terminal. The custom exercise and prevent service as is there. In fact, if they don't open their padlock, it cannot even load. They determine what goes out, good, what comes in. If they don't satisfy, they won't allow that to happen. Every product that is lifted from a depot, it's marked. If petrol, it has a different color. If diesel, it's a different color. The premix, MPE have assigned people that does the, those activity as well. What is the essence of introducing another layer? For us, if the system is not broken, you don't fix it. And so either government is trying to suggest that we don't trust our own systems in place. Hence, let's introduce a private person to come and uh, duplicate what others are already doing. And for every layer that you introduce, it has cost implication, Senna. If you remove a layer two, it has cost implication. We believe that... Um, either a deliberate move or a decision born at, um, you know, out of uninformed position. This is contrived loot. Gunner's gold. It's not supposed to exist. Contrived loot. Of course. It's created, uh, you know, uh, loot and share. What is, what is the experience of this company? SML. Gunners Gold. What Radio have they gold. done in the sector? In fact, are they saying that government revenue, uh, uh, you know, uh, accounting, they use their figures to determine that? Something that you can pick directly from the MPA portals. GRA is in the loop. Why introduce another person? Or GRS is saying that we can't do our work until we offload it to somebody. Then what is the essence Gunners of that gold. entity? Radio Gold. Senna, mm. I, I, this is a deliberate attempt to steal from the ordinary Ghanaian. In fact, from, from what Fourth Estate says, if it is theft, then it has happened already because the monies they are mentioned are significant. Of course, but then they can be made to cough that very money. Um, if I were the government, by now I would have halted all activities of the SML from any of the terminals, across all the terminals across the country. And I won't even attempt to elevate them to the astronaut sector. I think they've found just, um, you know, a, a, a green field to exploit. For personal gain. 
And we believe that the MPA is still up um, to their game. And so SML must not be allowed to enter into the petroleum terminal beginning today if MPA wants to act. But then let's clarify, or let's ask MPA to clarify their relationship with SML. And if you have um, time, place a call to the MPA. So I heard uh, from Joy that the chief executive officer of MPA is saying that, look, this is duplicity. They must know that we are doing the thing out of. But check from the MPA. If in the last six weeks, SML have had stakeholder engagement within the office of the MPA in Accra, and why they entertain the SML to meet terminal operators. First, find that from them if that is true. Hmm. They cannot come and say innocence. But I want you to do that work for me. For, for Ghanaians, it's very necessary. Hmm. So you, you would still like to hear from the NPA, the Ghana Revenue Authority, because the, the Ministry of Finance who directed it as to what the relationship is, why they were put in, and exactly what they've been doing all this while. Particularly the MPA, they must clarify their relationship of SML. It's very important. That's very important. Then the Ministry of Finance must provide the findings that informed the choice of SML for revenue assurance. The decision to even bring another layer, they must produce that immediately. Hmm. Nana, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me this morning. Mm. Super morning to your listeners. Same to you, Nana. Um, long may you reign. Nana Amwesi the seventh is Executive Director of Institute for Energy Security joining us and having a conversation. He says the MPA needs to come and clarify their relationship with um, uh, SML. This SML company, quite an interesting company with a, an interesting track record. Lawyer. Mm.